the green light listening to that guy. So, I'm going to take my tractor for a spin. You want to go talk to Whitney, my cousin down the street? I'm going to go fuck. <laughs> he took my tractor. I fucked my cousin so good, she still left me for a black man. I once stuck my wicker inside of her... her What's a her wicker, cooter, Paul? Inside of her cooter one time, and all of a sudden, a Prince Charming came out of her ass. <laughs> What's a wicker, Paul? A lot of incest oh jokes. One time, I made my, my ex-wife some chili, eh? And before I... What <laughs> type of chili? <laughs> Finger licking well, I, I'm good. Gonna, I'm gonna tell you, you finger licking bastard. <laughs> oh, I'm southern. I don't give a fuck. Well, anyways, I made her this chili, eh? And I, I stuck. Why you Canadian, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get censored. <laughs> oh my god. So, anyways, I made my ex-wife some chili. It's my second cousin, by the way. Why are you seeing your ex-cousin? Where's the first one? She got hit by a parked car. Oh, shit. <laughs> this man <made a> tractor. <laughs> that shit sits everywhere. No, no, see. What happened was, her ex-boyfriend rode the tractor, and she was on the back in some booty shorts and some big jeans, and she she had a sec <coughs> second child coming upon her, like uh, the apocalypse, and... Uh, they were riding a tractor, and an oncoming bus of school children impacted the tractor, and she lost her wheel. Oh shit, Paul! Where's? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Paul! Cousin Dad, my cousin. I mean, even though you had sex with her too. Oh shit! So, anyways, so after my ex-wife left me, <laughs> southern, even though I'm part southern. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Arizona, so I have nothing to do with this, but I'm doing pretty good so far. Um, so anyways, so I married my second cousin, okay, because she let, my first wife left me for the black man. <laughs> Negro people. <laughs> she left me. <laughs> Them brown people in there, they're a little nos and riding so, on the saddle. So anyways, alright, I married my second cousin, and she's got them cross eyes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What happens when the tractor vibrates too hard, Paul? Oh my god. That's via farmersonly.com. That would be my, uh, yeehaw! Let me stick it in my cousin. Uh, they call me Senior Pappy the 15th. Like, oh shit. Really oh up. my god. So, anyways, I made my second cousin some chili. Let me tell the story, okay? It's so very intriguing for you people out here. Y'all. Anyways. So I was making her some chili one night, and she became really upset with me Jeez. over some dumb fucking shit. Did you put the crackers in it? Oh, I put some chunky crackers in the chili. I oh. pulled down my trousers, and I put my oh, ass gross. over the chili pot, okay? And I made it nice and chunky and warm. I'm never eating chili again. <laughs> Wendy's maybe if there's a finger in it. Oh, my wings were done shit. Oh, wings are damn shit. God damn it, Paul, we had to go watch him. I wonder if he can find where he left his chicken nuggets and all that body fat he carrying around. I don't know, Paul. We gotta figure that one out. I'm too retarded for this. I'm gonna hell. Wait, I'm definitely, definitely are, that's for sure. So anyways, after my, my wife ate the chili, she tried to have sex with me, right? Oh, God. And then you were born. So and that's why you're retarded. <laughs> oh, so that's why the Hills Have Eyes is a thing. That's about a bunch of... Uh, sorry. God, the Hills Have Eyes. It was a wrong turn. But that, yeah, Anyways. Yeah, there you go. Back. So, right. so my second wife, second cousin, right? The most lovable woman ever. Cross-eyed and everything. She's she a real... She's she a real... She's she a, can look at you and read. <laughs> hey. She's a real straight shooter, okay? Oh, your eyes straight, though. She's... A, she's that's true, son, but you know, that's why you got the cross eyed in your fucking face. Oh, shit. Okay. Anyways, the second cousin, the one with the big dunk dunks, you know, on her boobs. Oh, that was my dog. Well, I thought they were milk sacks for a second, but shit. then I touched them one time with the first wife and I found out they were not milk sacks, okay? So, anyways. <laughs> anyways. It was my My second cross eyed bearded cousin. 
decided to take not only my second tractor, I which I have to mow the crops with, but my farmhouse in the divorce. Not the farmhouse! The farmhouse. My legal sets are in there! I'm sorry. God damn it! But Kill she me. also took some Red Dead Redemption with her. Oh, fuck that game. In the divorce. It's already shit anyways. She took my gold Which bars. one? She took second my one or first one? <laughs> second one. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> so anyways, so then... I meet my third wife. He think I learned after two tries and be a fucking dumbass. No, oh, you're retired. You're a redneck. Oh, I am. I'm really stupid. So then I meet this single mother. And she's the apple to my tree. She knows how to just she, I thought it was raise me properly in the belly and everything. She gives me warm, fuzzy feelings. But then she took my chimney. Oh, shit. How she do that? How the fuck you steal a chimney <laughs> in a divorce? <laughs> Is well, see, after I lost the farmhouse... Well, hang on. Listen, I've been married three times at this point. So after I lost the farmhouse and the tractor, all that was left was the chimney. And it's oh, like I, a, I added a doghouse to it, and I put some paper hey, on it. Hey, come here, fuck. Come here, <laughs> come here, Sibby. Come here, boy. So then what I did is when we would have fights, she would put me in the doghouse and try to whip me and chain me like I was, you know, like her bitch. And then suddenly I grew teeth and some balls... And I got out of the doghouse. Well, Paul, you smoked a lot of meth. You couldn't do half teeth. Well, see, secretly I had an underground bunker in installed in the doghouse for these types of events. And I would put a bunch of nuclear materials down here just in case a zombie apocalypse happens. Because, you know, we're rednecks. We live out in the middle of nowhere. So what I would do, we're right, really is vulnerable. I would get a 12-pack of beers, some shotgun some shells, <laughs> some, <laughs> some shotgun shells, eh? Shut up. With the kids. I didn't say nothing. So I would get some, put some beers down there, about a 12 pack, 24 pack of beers. Put a bunch of 12 gauge shotgun shells down there, just in case, you know, she sent me to the doghouse. And I put some porno magazines with Marilyn Monroe on them. She's a gorgeous blonde chick, by the way. She lives in the city, far away from here. But well, she got shot. It's very scary. At this time in my life, she had still been alive. In the magazines. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanged in them all day. And I'm like, what's this so, stinky stuff? So my third wife, my third wife, the single mom, is the apple to my eye. She comes to the doghouse. Okay. To get out of my she bed. She finds my secret layer. My stash with Marilyn Monroe. And my sticky icky magazines. And my 12 pack of beer and my 12 gauge shotgun trails. And she looks at me in disappointment and disapproval. And she says... I'm divorcing you and I'm taking the chimney and all, and the, all the magazines. And all the magazines. Oh no! So now I'm a, at the age of 50. I'm a broken man. I got a bastard child I can't stand with cross eyed like his second mother. Fucking bastard. <laughs> and I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, would I do it again? God damn it, hell you would, Paul. Well, you know me not. to the T, my man. That's why you're my son, little Jimmy. That's why we don't need no woman. We got our cussy one is. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta end the video now. I can't do it anymore. <laughs>